Well, welcome back to Desert Smoke Reviews. I'm Wyatt. Justin. Today we're taking a look at the La Polina Classic. Um, we had that other La Polina, La Polina Maduro, a couple yes. reviews back, and uh, we weren't too impressed with that one, so hopefully this one uh, is better. Um, yeah, kind of a nice light brown wrapper. I'm not sure if this is a Connecticut, but it looks like it is. Um, pretty uneven pack, uh, kind of squishy all the way through, but uh, also sort of firm in some areas. Um, you know, presentation-wise, there's not a lot to this cigar. The band is kind of small, but um, some, some of the best cigars in the world, you know, they don't pay for the band. So. But anyway, yeah, off the aroma, it's a little bit of like sweet earth and maybe hay um, off, the, uh, off the wrapper. And then on the foot, maybe a little bit of nuttiness. You know, to me, that, that smell at the foot is almost reminiscent of like if you just mowed your lawn. I mean, kind of like wet grass almost. Interesting. Justin? Yeah, it, it's very simple looking cigar. A little lumpy. I've got a couple of little stretch marks. Uh, seams are tight, but uh, they are visible. A um, couple veins, not too concerned with. Um, well, I've noticed I've got a couple of little holes in my uh, wrapper. And not like holes like tobacco beetle holes, like just like a little tear hole. Um, but uh, I don't think there'll be a problem. Uh, aroma, I agree. I get that sweet earth. And uh, probably just a nice mild tobacco with it. Off the foot, I see what Wyatt's saying about the wet grass. I would call it more of what I like to call cured hay. Kind of that kind of wet, uh, kind of, you know, not fermented, but, you know, it's kind of been sitting uh, depleted of oxygen. But it's still wet. It's not a horrible smell, actually, especially with alfalfa. So, uh, but let's get into it. See how it goes. A little bit of pepper. Very fleeting though. It's gone uh, really, really early in the finish. Um, I get that cured hay or wet grass taste, um, but there's not a lot there. I mean, it's you know, it's not a heavy cigar. Uh, not too long lasting to finish. It's already pretty much done for me. Justin, I just kind of really just got lit. I kind of half charred it there for a second. Yeah, definitely get the, the pepper blast right on the tip of your tongue, and it's just gone as fast as you tasted it. Um, I do pick up a nice, not a wet earth, but a dry earth. I'm not picking up the wet, like wet cured hay, but I definitely pick up like a earth and a bit of like a grassy note. I don't want to say harsh, but a, like an unrefined earth, I should say. Maybe... Uh, maybe grass is the better term for it, but it's a bit unrefined. Um, I don't want to say harsh, because it is just the first couple draws, and I did, I think I overcharted it there for a second. So, I'm not sure if I'm the best judge right now. I'm probably mild in body, mild in strength right now. It's just the first few draws, so let's get into the first third and see how it goes. Well, we're about uh, 10 minutes into this La Polina Classic. Um, pretty mild, kind of one note so far, you know, I still get that that sweet earth, a little bit of a uh, little bit of that dry cured hay or that that wet hay, uh, maybe wet grass, but uh, yeah, nothing's really popping out at me. You know, it's it's a good cigar. It's got good construction, um, so just kind of, you know keeps my interest in everything, but not really a cigar that's gonna jump out at you, Justin. Yeah, the cigar for me in this first third kind of really came into itself for me. I think I did overchart when I uh, was toasting the cigar. Um, that kind of, I still get a nice dry earth um, and a bit of like wet, uh, hay or grass. And that earth is very sweet. I agree with why. It's like a sweet earth. So it's pleasant. It's kind of mild to medium in body. Those flavors are there. You can pick them out, but they're not saying, wow, here I am. But you can pick them out. Strength, very mild for me. I'm not getting much of a nicotine buzz at all. Smoke's very ample. Not very thick, um, but there is a lot of it. Uh, so far, it's, it's a pretty decent stick. It definitely 
is better than the La Polina Maduro we had, but again, that could have been just our experience with those cigars. Uh, so I won't say much more on that. But let's get into the second third and see how it goes. Well, we're about halfway through this La Polina Classic. Um, no flavor changes. Um, still a little bit of that pepper on the on the finish for me, uh, and on the retro hill too. But overall, kind of a simple stick. Uh, we're smoking this at the end of the day. This would probably be better, you know, after a fuller cigar uh, or else in the morning, um, maybe in the mid afternoon or something. But uh, it's a nice cigar, you know, um, good construction, good taste, so no problems. Justin? Yeah, it's performing well. No burn problems. Uh, draw's been fine. No, no construction issues at all. Uh, flavors, kind of that one note for me, just kind of like a nice subtly sweet earth. A bit of like a grass or hay note. Mild to medium in body and about mild in strength. It's, you know, very pleasant. It's leaps and bounds better, in my opinion, of uh, the, uh, the other La Polina I've had, the Maduro, but, I mean, it's just not saying, wow, here I am. But, very good. I agree with why they would probably be after uh, a full, more full body cigar if you're going to smoke in the evening, I think it'd be a great starter cigar in the mornings or even after lunch, but uh, just don't expect a lot from it. It's going to be a one note kind of par for the course cigar. But let's get into the final third see how it goes. Well, welcome back. We're at the uh, final third of this La Polina Classic. No flavor changes throughout, pretty consistent flavors, uh, never really veered off course from um, you know, a little bit of that, that wet grass, maybe that cured hay, uh, sweet earth. Um, not really a one-note cigar, because there was quite a few different tastes going on, but it never really differed from those tastes. So, I mean, a good cigar, you know, great construction, never had a burn problem. Um, nice, easy draw. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give this one, like, I'd give it a 7. I mean, it's something that I'd smoke again. Uh, not something that I'm really going to rush out and get again, because there wasn't a lot there to... to really make me want another one, but, you know, if I had another one, it would be fine, I guess. Uh, I could see taking this out on the golf course. Um, I could see smoking this in the morning uh, or after lunch or uh, probably not at the end of your day. Um, the only way I'd smoke this at the end of the day is if you smoked a really, you know, complex, dynamic cigar beforehand and then you still want to smoke another cigar, but uh, good, good selection. Yeah, it's a decent little smoke. Um, always mild in body. Uh, mild and medium in body, and, and very mild in strength. Um, very par for the course. I agree, it's not a one note. There's, you know, two or three, that little earth, sweet earth, uh, a bit of grass or, or hay. Um, there was a little bit of pepper here and there on the tongue, but all in all, it was just very simple. The, the flavors were not really in your face. Uh, you could pick them out, but they were a bit fleeting in a sense. Um, I'd go a little lower. I'd go six and a half with it, mostly because it nothing really drew me to this cigar. If I was in a shop and I think they're around seven dollars a stick, you know, there's a lot more you can get for seven dollars uh, compared to this La Polina Classic. It's a decent stick. If somebody gave it to me, I wouldn't turn it down. I think it's definitely smokable. It's just not my flavor. But uh, in conclusion, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. But until next time, smoke them if you got them.